Last week, I was sitting anxiously at home, waiting for the phone to ring. I was expecting a call from the laboratory where I had tests done to determine what was wrong with my body because I have had nausea and abdominal discomfort for three consecutive days. While waiting, the memory of my grandmother kept popping in my head. She had the same symptoms before being diagnosed with a severe digestive anomaly and I was worried that I inherited it. The phone rang at noon and I was startled. It was only natural for a person like me who was about to find out whether I'd be spending the next few months of my life in a hospital to be agitated. I stood beside the phone and waited for it to ring for the ninth time before picking up. Just as I thought, it was a staff from a lab informing me that they found no abnormality on the blood and other samples I sent them, so the reason for my symptoms must be external. I was so relieved to hear that news. When I asked what to do next, the staff told me to send them samples of the food that I typically eat and my drinking water. Naturally, I was doubtful that they'd find anything, since my diet mainly included fresh fruits and vegetables that I personally meticulously handpicked from the best supermarket in the city. They even had quality control stickers proving that the products were safe. My drinking water was equally as safe since it's always from sealed bottled water and never from the tap. The next day, I received another call from the laboratory, telling me that they found toxic levels of pesticides on the food products I sent them, and all my symptoms matched those of pesticide poisoning. I was shocked. I've been buying produce from that store for many years. It was so hard to believe that what I thought should make me healthy are instead doing the exact opposite.